Hi, my name is Porter. I'm a 12 year old vegan and I go to this school. As a school project, nine weeks ago, we decided to raise 24 chickens from chicks and now they are slaughtered weight and are going to be sl slaughtered tomorrow. Because I'm vegan, I asked the class to vote to save two chickens and donate to the sanctuary. because these two get to go to the sanctuary and live out the rest of their lives. It is also unfortunate that these 22 chickens tomorrow will be going to the slaughterhouse to be slaughtered. And we'll show you what that looks like. At the slaughter plant, the chickens are moved out of the trucks, dumped onto conveyors, and hung upside down in shackles. A machine cuts their throats, but some chickens miss the blades, and there are no laws regulating their welfare during slaughter. Those whose throats aren't slit drown in scalding tanks. Once dead, the chicken carcasses are defeathered, dismembered, and disemboweled. Each step in the process makes the chicken's bodies less recognizable until it's hard for us to remember that the chicken wings, nuggets, drumsticks, and breasts we buy came from living, breathing animals. Okay, I'm Megan. I'm Mike. And uh, you're at Black Goat Sanctuary. inspired you to start uh, a sanctuary? So um, we found one little baby goat actually that a farmer was going to put down because he was very sick and he was the first goat we took and then we learned kind of about all of the stuff that happens to these farm animals and we just started taking them in from there. So three years later we moved here and we've got uh, 12 goats, three sheep, no two sheep, three pigs and three cows now and a bunch of different birds. What do you think is a, an important lesson to learn for my classmates about raising the chickens? We think it's just important for people to realize that they have rights just like we do. Um, you know, you see them out here happy and playing and they, they deserve a life just as much as anybody else. We have been vegan since we kind of met the animals and learned what they were like and that they all have their personalities and they're just like a dog or cat thought of her name to be Lucky. Lucky, okay. Since she was like this, sort of the same weight as the other ones. Oh, okay. As some of the other females. Yeah. So, and then this one was uh, smaller by quite a bit. Yeah, she looks than, a lot smaller. Then like all of the other ones, she was the, definitely the smallest one. Oh, okay. So we just called her Freedom. Freedom, oh, that's yeah. cute. We will keep those names for sure. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. So they're gonna get like a lot of bulky foods, high fiber, just to make them feel full because they will eat as much as they possibly can. So we're gonna make sure they free range. They've got two acres. So they're gonna have to move around for their food. We'll spread it around. Um, as long as, you know, we get their diet and everything, they could live two to three years though. Not too big. It's not like they were confined. Like at least they got to go out and mm -hmm. move around. So they should have some muscling and be able to support their bodies. It's the heart that usually gives them issues, but the one vet who was here yesterday is a nutritionist as well, so she was giving us tips on calcium and protein ratios to do for them to make sure they have the best life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wanna help me get them out into their new home? You get freedom. Oh, still make their little baby noises yeah. too, it's so weird. Hi yes. see hi, look at this good stuff. That's for you, veggies. What do you think? Hi, sweetheart. Hi, lucky. Oh, baby. 
baby. You want to come out? Oh, they're very friendly too. Did you guys handle them a lot? Uh, well, we, yeah, the kids are around. Yeah. Look at like the size of the full grown chickens. Sweetheart. Okay. Did you guys get them veggies and stuff? Oh, so they don't know what this even is. They had like, I don't know, like, like those pellets soy, of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Those are high protein. They make them get really big really fast. So mm -hmm. they'll learn what the veggies are though, and I bet they'll love them. Thank you for saving them. We're very, we're very glad, and it's wonderful that you did that for them. I'm sure they appreciate it.